No, I, I applaud the decision. I think it's the right decision, but uh, it's his decision as to when when he comes back. When I say when the, when the time is right, uh, that's that's really uh, his decision. But but if you if you've watched Tiger over the last 13 years, you know he doesn't come out to play golf unless he's in a position to win physically and mentally. And uh, you know I, I, I take him at his word when he talks about those issues he's got to deal with. He's got to. He's got to deal with them in a time frame uh, that works for him. So I, I don't know what that time frame is. And, and frankly, I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about uh, and supportive of his efforts to get himself straightened out in his personal life and be prepared to play the game. And whenever that is, that's acceptable to us. So you don't have any guesses on how long it might be for Tiger to come back? No, I, you know, I, I really don't. I, I think that. Uh, uh, it could be weeks, could be months, uh, it could be uh, an ex extended period of time. I, I really don't know. Uh, you know, we will move forward. We, we, we lost Tiger in 2008 for most of the year when he was out with an injury. Uh, we move forward. And, uh, you know, there's been uh, everything about this story with Tiger has been, uh, you know, included a fair amount of hyperbole. And on the business side of the equation, that's certainly been the case. I've seen, I saw some this morning where, Television revenue is going to be off $200 million. You have to understand our business model. Uh, you know, we perform very well. We had a record year in 2008 in a lot of fronts, raising $125 million for charity. We didn't have Tiger for two-thirds of the year. Uh, without Tiger for a period of time, we will, we will perform quite well. As a matter of fact, the top six performing tournaments on the PGA Tour in ter terms of net revenue for charity, which is an indication of their financial strength, Tiger hasn't played in any of those six in the last five right. years. Uh, now, I don't want to diminish his impact. He is our number one player. He's our number one star. He brings enormous attention to the sport. But we can move forward uh, without him. And there's always a silver lining, which is, you know, in 2008, we had Anthony Kim and, and right. uh, Camilo Bajegas and other players come forward, and, and we create new stars. Commissioner, let me let me ask you let me ask you this question. Um, you, you're talking about Tiger, and for him, assuming Tiger comes back sooner yeah. than expected, what damage, in your opinion, has been done to the game? I mean, he is your number one star. I don't think the game has been damaged. I mean, I, I think the game, you know, the game goes back centuries. Uh, you know, we've been playing golf for 500 years, and every one of those years, uh, the game of golf has grown. This year, with golf going in the Olympics, we have burgeoning growth in Asia. This is a global sport. The game is not going to be hurt. The, the game has 60 million people that play it, uh, uh, tens of millions more that watch it. Uh, these are people that are passionate about the game. The PGA Tour has 100,000 volunteers raising money for charity. The game's not going to be hurt. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, but having said that, we want to see Tiger fix his issues and come back and continue uh, the legacy that he's developed in terms of being able to, to play the game at the level he's played. You, you referenced this. You know, this story's been so dominant, so much so you were even mocked on Saturday Night Live this past week as they were making fun of these stories that suggested the PGA Tour would now be in dire financial straits. What's your impression of how the mainstream media has portrayed the position the tour's in now? Well, it, 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 there's no point in arguing with the media when they get on a roll in some of these things. Uh, uh, statements are made, and uh, th th this particular question has been pretty one-sided. The reality is, you know, I'm more concerned about the recession, the continued recession, and the economic mm -hmm. factors than I am about about Tiger leaving. Tiger increases our television ratings, but the sales of sponsorships and television advertising is what's key to our sport. And we've had a very good year. I'm doing a press conference in, in a little while today, and we'll be announcing some additional corporate sponsorship. We've had a very solid year and a very bad economic environment. Next year, we're going to have a couple hundred players tee it up. We're going to have record prize money. We're going to rebound in charity from $109 million in, in a bad year of 2009 to probably $116, $118 million next year. Uh, we are going to have a terrific year, sponsorship-wise, television-wise. On, on television, yeah. Let me and know, let me let me get to the two, two, let, let me get no, to the no, television ahead, ahead. thing, uh, you know, because the, the tour's television contracts expire in 2012. You know, all this talk yeah. that the negotiations for the next deal are going to begin late next year, 
how could a prolonged Tiger absence, you say you don't know, or a potential drop in maybe the marketability of the tour change the timing and the value of those deals? Well, I don't think it can change. I mean, our, our, our agreements are up at the end of 12. And historically, we like a, a, a year, a full year before between when we complete our television uh, discussions and the end of the term. So we're, we're looking at toward the, the fourth quarter of 11 uh, for our television negotiations. That's, that's almost two years away. Uh, our, our television is performing extremely well in a down economic environment. Advertising budgets are off in corporate America. We all know that. So, so it's harder to sell through on advertising. But, but half of our advertising comes from our sponsorship, uh, which is at 100% level. And even where we have a couple of holes, we have figured out ways to bridge those holes as we get through this economic downturn. Can, can we if talk about sponsorship? If you look at the, let me just make Go this ahead. point. If you, if you look at the cumulative audience uh, that Nielsen measures in 2007, 8, and 9, it was 26 million per event, people tuning in in 6 and uh, 7, the same number in 8 when Tiger was out a half a year, and up some in 9 where our ratings were up. So, so our fundamental position in television, as long as our sponsorship is strong, is going to continue to be viable, and our sponsorship is very, very solid today and growing. You, it seems like you view the baseline as golf without Tiger, and then Tiger is the bonus, where the public is viewing it from Tiger down. Is that accurate? <laughs> Absolutely, and I've been, I've been having this conversation for 12 years with the media because Everybody says, gee whiz, uh, when ratings are up when Tiger plays, what do you do with the other weeks? Well, we have 47 tournaments. Tiger pay, plays in 16. All of those tournaments are fully sponsored. Uh, the prize money in the tournaments that he hasn't played in historically actually, actually have grown more. So we view Tiger as a huge bonus, not just a bonus, a huge bonus because he brings in so many what we call soft viewers. But if you look at the number of viewers week in and week out on average and the quality of our viewership, the demographic, opinion leaders, people, the, the buying power of our demographic, it's very appealing for sponsors. These companies make smart decisions. They hire lots of smart people to measure all this mm -hmm. stuff. And every time we're in an economic downturn, we pencil out very well against the other sports. And the reason is the strength and value of our television audience. We don't see that changing. Commissioner, but we have want you... our, our number one player back, and we're, we're looking forward to having him back as soon as possible. And let's get focused on him again. Uh, have you spoken to Tiger? I have not spoken to him since all this started. I've, I've observed his request for privacy. Uh, and again, I, I, I and all of us support the decision he made to step away. I think it was the right thing to do at this point in time. The, the media uh, is just so over the top. Uh, but more importantly, he's got, as he said, not, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not speaking for him, I'm using his words, he has got to deal with the personal and family issues that, that are in front of him. Have you spoken and, to his and, representatives uh, I at think all? all of us recognize those are, I would think all of us recognize those are serious issues and we wish him the very best uh, in dealing with them. His representatives, Mark Steinberg at IMG, have you spoken to him? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me ask you about Tiger. You know, he's been seen by a doctor who's been charged uh, in Canada for smuggling human growth hormone. Uh, Tiger's treatment obviously was said to be unrelated. Um, with what you know at the time, do you have any concerns about his connection to that doctor? No, because our people have looked at, I've been personally involved, but our people and our, our drug program have looked at that about that procedure at all that triggers any problem with our current drug policy. One, so, one last... Uh, uh, you know, there's no reason for us to be concerned about that particular procedure. One last question for you. What's your sense of how the casual golf fan views this game now versus three weeks ago? Any change? I don't, I don't, think, that, I don't think about the game. No, I, I think that, that people recognize that this is an individual's personal life. Now, everybody relates to things that go on in a personal life differently. And we understand that. And, but I, I think, again, the game of golf, uh, is, it was bigger than Jack Nicklaus when Jack was dominating the game. It's bigger than Tiger when Tiger's dominating the game. Uh, but, uh, and it'll go on. Tiger, Tiger's going to retire at some point. Jack retired. 
but uh, I think people will, will look at the number one athlete of the decade and pull for him, now really in an underdog position to deal with these issues, to come back, to win golf tournaments, and to go back to stimulating young people and, and bringing fans to the sport. And certainly that's what I look forward to. Uh, and not just because it's good business. I think, I think I look at this guy and I see a guy that we in golf owe a lot to, a guy who is, who is so dedicated and so focused uh, and brings it every, every time he, he, he tees it up, who is focused on a foundation that's done great things for thousands and mm -hmm. thousands of kids. I don't think all that gets washed away because of these personal issues. Uh, I just hope for his sake and his family's sake, uh, a beautiful family, that, that things can work out uh, so that he can come back. And it 